My guest, Bradley Letzka, who is the Senior Education Specialist for an organization called Treehouse. Now, what in the world is Treehouse, Bradley? Good morning. Treehouse is actually a organization that works with foster youth directly and indirectly, trying to give them an equitable experience to their peers. We work with early childhood youth, and we also work with high school youth, and that's the program that I'm a part of with Graduation Success So I work in about eight high schools with a nice caseload of youth, helping them get to college and reach their level of success. Sometimes it's not always college, but we help them with reaching success, what it means to them. Now, you drove down from Tacoma. I appreciate you. uh, You said you fought some heavy traffic this morning to get here. I did. You know, I'm actually kind of used to it. I graduated from the Evergreen State College here in Olympia. So it was just nice to come back to the town where I got my bachelor's and see everything going on. Well, I every once in a while, I have somebody on the program who is a foster parent, and I know how important uh, foster parents are and, and the special problems that foster kids have. So what's your connection with that? How did you get involved with, shall we say, the foster program? I love our foster parents, and my heart goes out to everyone that adopts or takes care of the youth. I got involved with the program As I was working to get my bachelor's degree in arts with a law emphasis at Evergreen State College, I ran into this book, Michelle Alexander, Mass Incarceration in the Age of Colorblindness. And I was seeing that a lot of our criminal justice system is kind of broken, to say the least. And I was working before Treehouse with the Upper Bound program, working with first generation free and reduced lunch high school students. I graduated about 100 youth. The few years that I was there and the opportunity with Treehouse came up with working with foster youth and my dad was actually a foster youth. So I told him about the opportunity and he told me to jump in right away. He said he wished there was organizations like Treehouse when he was a youth. He's 56 now. So there wasn't a large focus on the foster care system and and giving those youth the resources that they need when he was a child. And he was just so excited to hear that Treehouse was doing all the amazing things and I could be a part of it. So I jumped right in. I knew foster youth were underrepresented and I was able to represent them in a way to help them get to their success and help their caregivers and their social workers and just be a part of their network of people that really care about them. So I get the impression, uh, well, you just said that your dad went through the foster program as a foster child. Yes. And I get the impression he turned out just fine, a successful man. But that isn't always the case, is it? I got some statistics from your organization that said uh, less than 3% of foster kids end up with a bachelor degree. That's a pretty low number. Yes, that's correct. And we saw those statistics, especially when I was doing the internship with Treehouse, Seattle University, where I'm a student getting my master's in criminal justice now in Monroe Prison. And we focused on the foster care to prison pipeline that it was seeming was going on. And we saw that youth after 18 were going out of the system and sometimes going into the criminal justice system when they didn't have a plan. So we launched what is now called Launch Success. So after high school, they'll get someone similar to myself, but it's a Launch Success specialist helping youth get planted on their college campus because retention for the first year is really hard or finding an apartment, maybe getting into a trade school, maybe getting into employment somewhere that pays them pretty well. A lot of times (laughs) there's an age limit, but a lot of times with the work that we do, our youth become our friends and contact us for the rest of their lives almost. I have a couple youth that are no longer on my caseload, but text me every once in a while to say, hey, I'm doing great in college. Thank you for all your help. Thank goodness for people like you. I was lucky. I had both mom and dad at home and grew up with both parents. I can't imagine what it would be like to uh, not have that privilege where you just go from home to home, you're a foster kid, and you maybe don't feel like you really belong lots of times. And you have to do it on your own all the way to Growing up, yeah, it's hard. And we hone in on that a lot, those social bonds that youth lose when they get moved from home to home. Because we know a lot of life is making social bonds, making things strong for a youth, a foundation. So Treehouse also helps pay for youth to go to summer camps, pays for their sports when they're in school, help pays for their sport equipment if they need uniforms and things of that nature to build their community back up when it gets broken. Now, Treehouse is a nonprofit organization, I take it? Correct. 
And you're headquartered in Tacoma? Seattle. Seattle, okay. Yeah. But you work out of Tacoma or you work out of Seattle, which? Well, Treehouse is in quite a few different areas. Including Thurston County. Including Thurston County. Just recently this year, and we're in Spokane as well, Tacoma, Bethel School District, Franklin Pierce School District, and much of King County. I think all of King County at this point. But we're hoping to go statewide soon. Our advocacy program is very big, and the advocacy program works with youth of all ages. Now, you personally, you're involved mainly with those that are 18 and older or high school graduates. Is that your specialty? High school student from freshman year to senior year. In high school. Are the youth that I work with, yes. Okay. So your, your function is to try to make sure they go to college and kind of get them launched. Totally. And I check in with my youth once a week. We talk about their grades. We talk about their attendance. And then we help them reach goals. So we have a thing called Student Center Plans and Student Center Action Plans. And our student center plans are their overarching goals. And our action plans are the small steps to get to their goal. So right now, I was just working with the youth who wanted to go to University of Washington. And she thought it was just way out of her reach. Nobody in her family has gone to a college and she's in foster care. She doesn't have the proper guidance to even think about that. And so I told her, you know, let's work on that and take the steps and our action plans will knock them out. And eventually we'll have everything done to where we can turn in that application. And she's now accepted into UW, graduating a whole year early from her high school. And she attributes a lot of that to the work that she's done with Treehouse. So how many kids do you personally work with? Do you have like a caseload or whatever? Uh, how does it work? Yeah, I, ha I have a caseload of 25 students. Okay, so there are 25 students that you follow continuously. Correct. I have a caseload of 25 students. I have a work phone that has about 100 youth that text me and call me and ask if I could look over their personal statement, if their application process is done. Because like I said, I keep an open door policy. I'm from Washington, so I want to see Washington thrive as much as possible. And to me, that means preparing our next generation. Okay, so the 100 people that call you occasionally or text you, are those ones you've worked with in the past and they're just kind of hanging on to you because they, they like uh, Bradley uh, Letzka? Correct. <laughs> Well, that's a pretty good relationship. I mean, you're not just going to dump them off when they get to a certain point. No, and you know, relationships are the key to making folks reach success, I believe, and Treehouse believes as well. We stress relationships because if a youth just doesn't feel you, doesn't trust you, it's hard to get them to work with you and, and reach that level that we want them to reach. So the 25 that you're actively working with at all times, do you see them on a regular basis, like go into the school and they have a little office for you? And, and you call them in and you say, hey, how's it going? That's exactly how it goes. Every school that I work in, they have granted me a office in their school. So I have all my youth schedules and I call them out of class. I got a pretty good relationship with each of their teachers. I mean, we build the relationships again. So uh, important. We build the relationships with the school as well. And it's really great because our teachers get to find out a little bit more about the youth. When they're going into the school, foster isn't right on the application if they're a foster foster youth. So a lot of times the teachers don't know that our youth are experiencing so much trauma and are held to the same expectations as if they weren't in foster care to their peers. So when the teachers find out that they are working with us, they click that this kid is in foster care and could be experiencing things outside of school that aren't exactly regular to someone who grew up with the mom and dad, you know? Now, do the kids or somebody, somebody must pay you for this. I mean, obviously, you have to make a living for yourself and get a paycheck once a month or whatever. Uh, who supports Treehouse? How do you make your money? How do you do this? A good 90% of our money comes from donations. But, you know, none of us are in it for the paycheck. We get paid but we're not in it to become rich. I feel for myself, I could only speak for myself, I feel rich by enriching others. Yeah. In Thurston County, how many of the high schools do you work with? All of them? Or yeah. It must, you know, Mondays you go to Timberline, Tuesdays you go to Tumwater. How, how does that work? Well, we actually have a different specialist that works with the Thurston County. I'm only in Tacoma, Franklin, Pierce, and Bethel, and our new specialists are working in Thurston County. You're doing great work. So uh, if anybody wants to know more about the Treehouse program, how do they find out? If you just Google Treehouse organization, it'll pop right up. I believe we're the first 
first ones that come up on Google. And if it doesn't come up directly in that way, type in Treehouse Seattle and it'll come up right away. All right. Bradley Letzka, thanks for uh, fighting the traffic and getting here this morning for It's Your Community. Appreciate it very much. Thank you so much.